are reviewing the Crafty Companion add-on. This is created by Log.Zip. This add-on is priced at 990 Minecraft coins. That translates to £4.99. It's roughly $6. As of right now, this add-on sits with a 4.6 star rating out of 5, with nearly 500 people giving their feedback and 82% giving it a 5 star. This add-on comes with an instructions book. And it says, Hey, buddy, I'm so excited to play Minecraft with you. To get started, use the spawn crafty item on the ground to bring me into your world. Then use the friendship bracelet on me and we'll be best buddies for life. Once you see the hearts, you'll know we are pals. Interact with me to give me instructions and I'll help you out in your world. Dude, this is gonna be sweet. Oh, and if you find any issues with my add-on, let my friends know at log.zipgames.com and they'll help you fix it. So here is the spawn crafty. Cannot be dropped, removed, crafted with this item is not lost on death. Hey, buddy, I'm here. You're ready to play some Minecraft with me? Now, as mentioned, you'll end up with this friendship bracelet, which when you tap on crafty... Dude, we're gonna be the best Minecraft buddies. Just tell me what you want to do. Okay, so if you end up with a little bit of a companion, I'm curious if he will follow you. Yes, so he's been already tamed in a way, and he is now our friend. Hey, buddy. We can dig, mine, chop, give me a quest, settings... And take a break. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you want me to take a break? It's okay if you do. I'll just hang out in your inventory. Let's go. Bye yes, bye, take a break. Bye, buddy. Okay, it's so loud. It's so, so loud. All right, let's place it back down again. So if it does get too much, you are able just to put this inside of your inventory. And then once again, you can tame him again. Let's see what Crafty can do. What do you want to do? If we set Crafty I am to the dig... Shoveler. It will generate a dirt I like block. I that one. And I believe another block that can also generate is going to be gravel as well. I also wonder, will Crafty actually defend for you? The answer is yes. So you do have a companion that will attack mobs that you have attacked. I'm also curious if this is going to work with the dragon's one that's also available. Will Crafty start to attack the dragons for you? Yes, yes, he will. And he is actually pretty strong. Okay, so obviously the next challenge is to go inside of a cave and see if he will dig or mine for us. We should eventually teleport to us. There we go. So if we come all the way down here, come on, Crafty. I need to see how you work. If I was... Oh, oh, oh. He goes straight for the big slimes. Go get him. Get him. No, I'll save you. <laughs> I think it said there's like 200 different sound effects with Crafty. Now, if we What's tap up? on you and hit Sorry, dig... Dude, can't find anything nearby to use my shovel on. Okay, so digging is something that you can only do above ground. Okay, what's the plan? What about mining? Block, meet my pickaxe. Lapis will generate. I think iron will also generate. And I believe possibly copper as well. Redstone does. I'm curious then. Does that mean the longer you do this, could you potentially get diamonds? Now, at least if you do bring him down to the deep slate layers, it does actually produce the deep slate ores. One of the other abilities Crafty has is the ability to light up an area for you. So if you technically wanted to just go ahead and start mining in a specific area, Wait, what? you what could do jerk? that. Now, if you start getting attacked by a mob, Crafty will actually change what he's doing and will actually start to defend for you. Now, I'm also curious, will he then go back into the light mode? If I was to tap on What's him up? again, no, you then have to reactivate the whole light situation, which I think is a little yeah, bit of an inconvenience. Of Minecraft. <laughs> I like the audio, though. Having a nice little companion is actually pretty cool. Once you've finished with whatever you hey, want buddy. him to do, mine, chop, dig, etc., you Here, click buddy. on give. And he will give you all of the items that he has collected. So I was generally curious, if you find diamonds and set okay, Crafty to mine, 
is there a chance for Crafty to get some diamonds? Now, as Crafty is mining, you guys will discover there is so much quotes. In fact, I believe there's like 200 of them. Okay, now, you are able to go into settings and turn this off. For me personally, I would probably have this off. Now, Crafty is an official YouTube channel. If you know, you know. If you don't, go and check them out. I just couldn't deal with too many quotes going off at once. Now, the interesting thing here is if you don't know who Crafty is, I think it's a little bit confusing. When it comes to mining, I actually thought that Crafty would help you mine. Now, I totally understand the reason why they haven't got that. It also seems if you start fighting mobs or let's say we set Crafty to mine in here and we just run away, for example, I think eventually Crafty will end up just teleporting to you. So he's like that needy friend that just, just won't go away. You actually have to be in the same chunk by the looks of things. So when we get to a certain point here... Crafty is actually going to teleport away. So I've left Crafty to mine for a little bit of time. Now, once we do tap on this and click give, you can see I've gathered myself some coal. Now, I did find a flaw with this. Some of the materials will go straight to your hotbar, even though you have a pre-existing stack already going on. And this happened before with some lapis. It happened before with some raw iron. So that's a little bit of an inconvenience. Now, I don't think this add-on is great for long-term survival worlds already. I just couldn't justify standing in one chunk unless you are willing to AFK for a very, very long time. In that sense, it might be pretty useful, right? But just for the sake of the materials I have from Crafty so far, I would rather just go mine and get them myself. I think this would be very beneficial for a brand new world and i wonder if having this add-on available in a brand new world would play a big difference than the pre-existing one so i had a couple of curiosities here if we bring crafty to let's say like a sand related area do you start digging sand that does seem to actually be the case so it does look like it is biome dependent which i like planes are going to offer you dirt and gravel desert is going to offer you sand if you came to a mushroom island and you did the same it looks like he begins to dig for dirt and gravel still now it does say i need dirt or gravel or sand or something nearby before i can start digging so there is only a select catalogs of blocks that crafty will dig and if you fly away from crafty crafty is somewhat kind of lost i think crafty works very similar to the likes of your dogs and cats now one more thing we didn't try out was the whole chop because crafty is also able to knock down trees now we've clearly seen crafty knocking down two blocks there so if i was to then click on give you do actually get two back I'm curious if this is also biome dependent. Quite clearly, inside of a jungle, place down crafty, and then we click on chop. Inside of a jungle, he will begin to chop down oak. Hmm. Does that mean it's always going to be oak? Don't ask me how, but I've managed to duplicate my crafties. I honestly, no idea. It, one just teleported out of nowhere. I just want to kind of get away from Crafty just to see if Crafty would also work in this biome because this is clearly not a biome that is made of oak trees. Now, to be honest, having two is actually a good idea because we can test both of these. So, no, Crafty will only chop down oak-related trees. That is quite a disappointment. What happens when you bring Crafty to the nether? And we tap on mine. Do yes. Okay. So at least Crafty will mine nether related blocks. I'm curious if this would also be gold as well. We do have the nether rack. What about quartz? Aha. Yes. So one more thing Crafty is able to do is give you quests. He would like nine birch saplings. We've got a tree farm over there. 
Let's go and get them. This is why the tree capitator is useful for this exact reason. It's going to be a great way for me to get myself some saplings. I think for this, I would like to hear what Crafty has to say. So if we were to then give Crafty... What you want to do? Nice, dude. Thanks for grabbing this. that for me. I want to give you this in return. Okay, what, what, what do you give me in return? Uh, What's up? Uh, do I, how, how do I, what, what, give me a, see the bubble over my head? What did I he get? Oh, he, stuff inside of that. He gave me a diamond block. I, I mean, I guess that's pretty decent. He wants a bed. Aha. Uh -huh. It looks like it needs to be specific colors. You are able to cancel specific no worries, no worries. quests uh, I'm All right, and then dude, open a new one. This? So I gave him the eggs that he required and he gave me a god apple. Wow. Forget about the whole mining thing. The best thing about crafty has to be the quest. Oh, so I've just completed a quest, and in return, he gave me a spawn egg, which, I'll be honest, is very unexpected. If we give him the snowballs, we end up with a super OP trident. <laughs> These don't add up. Everything was really, really balanced until we, until we started doing the quest. So my final verdict on this is I think the add-on is just okay. I would probably give this a three out of five. I think it's a little bit more on the expensive side. And once again, I hate to compare add-ons, but I think the utilities add-on is well more bang for your book compared to something like this. I probably wouldn't be using these two. I would probably use chop and probably the quests. I just think this was lacking in features. Overall, like I said, it's just an okay add-on. Just overpriced.